Hi guys, welcome back to uh, Final Fantasy Monster of the Deep. Um, I just thought I would have a quick go to this. It's um, 10 to 1 in the morning here where I live. So I thought I would um, have a quick go to this because I haven't had to go for a, a day or so. It says I've got stuff in here. What's in here? Is this just for character creation? I'm sure I went in here in my last video as well. It is. <clears throat> yeah, so I think I'll come out of this. But just in case you forget what my character looks like. There she is. The lovely, lovely character that I created. Anyway, let's um, get out of here. <laughs> just trying to remember the controls, to be honest with you. You can't sit down on, on there, can you? Uh, for some reason, though, when I started the game off here... Ooh. Oh, that's my picture I took. Oh, nice one. I didn't know that would appear on there. Can't pick up anything else. Oh, I found that. I found that in the level. Oh, you can't pick up the darts and play darts. Um, yeah, for some reason, when I started this game off, I was behind that wall. Um facing this way and my hands were all bent like that it was um quite weird right so do we just go in the car i can't, I can't remember what we did last time right, let's jump in the car this is really weird because this is actually how i'm sat right now <laughs> right so story um how do we select is it there we go so we got a story or we've got a hunt Oh, we got a free. Tell you what, we'll do the story again to do the next mission. See what this is like. So we've already done the Bass of Neglis. And now we're doing Unsettling Shadows. Let's check the rearview mirror. It's a very cramped car, this, you know. The car was, like, smaller than my sofa. Oh, whoosh. Oh, yeah, I forgot we could do this. Practice on the um, loading screen. As you can see, I need all the practice I can get. <laughs> well, that's two. Do we get anything for getting free? Not that I'm ever going to get free, but we might get something. Oh, no. Never mind. <laughs> I was trying to look at it to make it straight, but I think it is purposely wonky. Like I said last time, though, I do like these cutscenes, but I do wish they were all in VR, because it was just like a screen to me, and then it obviously jumps into VR when we get here. Right, let's open the door. These are so big. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know if you can see them, because you might only be able to see up to about here. Um, but I made a woman as my character, and she's got massive breasts, and they stick out like mad every time I look down. Oh, is that a, an item? What is it? A half-eaten bag of snacks consuming the leftovers would be ill-advised. So that would probably appear in my uh, house somewhere now. Okay, so we're going to... Get a bit wet by going down here. Oh, hello. Oh, sh have we got to go past that monster? Um, is that Groot? What is it? A small stone statue looks old, but the sticker on the bottom says "Made in Altitia." Oh, it was like a little angel. Oh my God! Can we get any closer? Oh, we're hovering. We're flying there. Wow. That is amazing. So to you guys, it's a flat um, thing. But um, to me, this is right in front of me. I wonder if I can touch it. No. Move my hand any further, it turns into that black thing. That is awesome. I won't mind it if... They made a VR Final Fantasy game where you could just walk around the enemies and the characters in VR because the 
amount of effort that's gone into making that model. Bloody hell. Right, where are we? Um, guys. There's, there's someone there. I don't know who it is. And he seems to be floating quite a bit. If I look away and look back. You see him? <laughs> when you look away and look back, he, he comes back up. Hello, what's this? Ah, oh, we've got to talk to you. Time no see. Can't Hello. Can't say I was expecting to run into you. Figured you'd be too busy doing what you hunters do best. Yeah. I can't touch you. Yes. Sounds like my angler's intuition was spot on. Listen, small fry. You're doing good work out there, so keep it up. <gasps> but hey, you're here now. So I guess that means you're back at it. Normally I'd suggest you kick back and relax, but you look like you got bigger fish to fry today. <laughs> <sighs> the days of fishing in peace are long gone. Uh. Anyway, I know you're under a lot of stress, but like I always say, cast your line to free your mind. No idea who that is. He's stood over there, though. Can we go near that bird and have a look at that bird? Oh, shh! It flew away. <sighs> Let's have a walk around. I want to see one of them. They look awesome. Oh, wow. Kachiku. See if we can get a better look at him. Wow. That's awesome. <laughs> it really is. Oh, there's another one of them. Can we get closer to this one? Oh, sh ah! shit in hell. It's right on top of me. Sorry. Fishing, of course. We're not here to look at the Final Fantasy monsters. Or to keep pointing out the fact that I'm actually floating. There's a fish thing over here. So I'm just looking for some items because the last level had about three or four items. I'm guessing this is going to be the same. Uh, a lovely flower vase, presumably an artifact from an age long gone. We're not taking that one with us. Okay. Alright, so we could go fish there. But I think we should um, go and fish where that guy is. Because there's obviously a reason for that guy being here. So that's the one that I got really close to. There is the other one as well. Can we go down there? No? Okay. Oh, there's someone there. Uh, a bag of imported snacks. Their pungent odour is not of the world, this world, let alone of this continent. Okay. Hmm. Is there something over here? No? Okie dokie. Let's make my way back over here to this guy. Oh, before I go down there. There we go, there's something. A uh, can of imported snacks, regardless of how they taste, the design sure is impressive. Oh, what's that? No way, there's a creature in the water there. What is it? It's like an alligator, but with wings. Why is a winged cre- oh, hello. Why is a winged creature in the water? Something there. Uh, a bag of imported snacks. If the expiration date is any indication, these are best left alone. I don't know what those stars do. I can't remember. Oh, there's another one now. I can't remember. Uh, but I'm sure we'll find out soon. That is awesome. Oh, my God. Seriously, if you're watching this, then... Oh, hello. Oh, my shadow's even got my hair. Oh, that is awesome. Now, look at my hair. Ha, ha, ha. YMC <laughs> Oh god. Um can we go down there? We can. Oh 
There's something over here. There's something. Uh, a can of imported snacks would be loved by children to eat. No, I don't want to come here. Um, now, I want to go to where that guy is. Can I skip right over there? No. But yeah, um, as I was saying, if, if you've got a VR headset, you need to buy this game. <laughs> it, it, it's awesome, the VR. This is probably like one of the most realistic VR that I've been in, apart from like Gran Turismo. And this isn't even like a realistic world. <laughs> if you do want it cheap, though, um, I got it from the Hong Kong store for £15. Over here, it's £25. So it's cheaper if you go to Hong Kong. Right, can we actually talk to him or not? Hello? Hello? Right, let's see if I can remember what we do. Right, so we go beep. So there's a fish there, so we go whoosh. No. Whoosh. That might have been a bit too far. That's... Nope. Nope. Very nope. <laughs> I just need it to go in that bit there. Why is it going so far? Here we go. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. See, that one's more active, so maybe we should try in that one. Oh, it's a bit better. Let's just leave it in there, see if we get a bite. I might just try a different lore, actually. Yes, we tried different law. Because we've not tried one yet. Oops, wrong one. Um, so I'm using a Popek Chocobo. So if we try a white Chocobo, this is um, Giant Trevally. A poppy law that resembles a white Chocobo. The wide open mouth creates ripples to entice fish. Okay. Let's try that. So where do we want to put it? See that one, there's a bloody big one there. Here's where the fun begins. That wasn't even part of a thingy, that one. Good for you. Got one. It's um tiny. Oh well. Better than nothing, isn't it? Um, there's a massive one there though I want that big one it's not enticing anything that one what if I stop it about there oh it's moving Is it gonna buy it? I'm glad this is infinite and we can use it as many times as we want. Right now it's not coming. Um See it is there though. Maybe I just need to get it closer. Way too far. Let's try for a smaller one. I keep throwing it too far. Right, you know what? This place sucks. So, we're going to go over there instead. Let's try this place. 
That's a bit better. Look at all them. Oh, still throwing it too far. Let's leave it there a minute. Come on, bite. Telling me to retrieve it, so that means that nothing wants it, do they? Oh, it drops it right in the area. There we go. That's what I need to do. Come on. Come to Fred. That's oh, another small one. You're too small, mate. We need to fill that bar up so the boss appears. Let's try for the same area. Seems like we have to actually smack it in that area for something to bite. Oh, is that close enough? It was. Nice one. Come on. So you can play this with a controller as well, I found out, because you're a gamer played it before. And they use the controller. I'm using my move controllers. I don't know why you would play this with a normal controller. Wow, that's massive, that one. <laughs> but yeah, when you're using it with a normal controller, both your hands move at the same time like that. And it just doesn't make sense. You want to you wanna use something like this, really. Oh, does that cause ripples? No. I thought it did. Um... Yeah, you want to use a move controllers. It makes it so much better. Oh. So I want to just get it in that area again, I think. Let's just wait. Come on. No one's biting. See, there is some big fish there. They're just not... Not biting. I don't know how the hell that landed there. It's going well too far. Perfect. Now bite. Got you. That one seems quite big as well, actually. That one's quite big, actually. Look at that. Oh, yeah. wonder if that's going to take me to the boss. Oh, I think it has. Nice one. Yeah, it has. Here we go. Oh, is that it? Oh, there's three of them. Now I've got to remember how to play this part, because we have a crossbow. Um... Where is he? Oh, we got to guess which one is the real one. Oh, damn, there's loads of them. <laughs> Alright, so there's a real one. So the real one appears on sonar. Have I got it? 
<laughs> I still have my sonar, but then not have it connected to this. Come on. Come on. Oh, that's huge. Did I catch it? Oh, nice one. That was quite easy, that one, actually. The first one was a lot harder. It nearly killed me. I oh. gotta say, you really impressed me today. I'm impressed with a shadow. You might on become you. an ace angler like yours truly someday. No, 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 no. I'd love to keep fishing till the gorillas come home. What the hell happened to your eyes? This got some business to attend to. Why do your eyes keep disappearing? Actually, maybe you'd be interested. A buddy of mine said he's thinking about setting up a friendly competition among us anglers. I'm heading off to hash out the details with him, but I can put in a good word for you if you'd like. No pressure, of course, but give it some thought. I bet you'd like a break from beating up those demons. Get you around, small fry. Bye. His eyes kept going black. It was quite scary. Nope. Can't look down now when the video is loading. Ooh. Yeah, that's not bad. I think it took me about 15, 20 minutes. Oh, I'm sat down. Okay. Ooh, where's Noctus? Do we get any tickets? 500 gil, nice one. Twenty stars. So we've got twenty-nine stars in total now. Got another five hundred gil. Okay. So we can either What does this do? This is keep us here or oh let's just see what fish we caught so we caught that one that's nice and big that one Whoa. Let's see what else we caught about the same it's a bit smaller I wonder if it's gonna have a boss actually I think that's the first one again isn't it yes yeah, so it's not letting us see the boss so that's fine um, yep, let's go back to home then. Here we go. Uh -uh. There's two down, many to go. Tournament mode. Okay, what's that? Is it going to tell me what tournament mode is? Oh. For this week's episode, I'd like to kick things off with an announcement that's sure to set your fins aflutter. Fisherman extraordinaire and friend of the show, David Arland, is asking all aspiring anglers to cast their lines in his first ever open invitational. To those of you who've spent hours perfecting your wrist flick in solitude, now's your chance to hook the judges and sink the opponents with your incredible skill. And let's be honest, who among us can resist the allure of a chance to go fishing? We'll post more details about the tournament on our website, so check it out. Now, let's move on to our next segment. A website. We've got the internet on that. So I can buy some new lures. I've got a thousand gil now. So I have six of those already and I've got five of those. I've got none of those. Okay. So to go up to 200. Those little cactus ones. <laughs> Bloody, that was quite a lot. Was that a 4,000? Wow. I'll never be able to afford that. Uh, different lines. Okay. Huh. What did they do? Increase strength. Okay, I'll have to think about that if I get stuck. A new rod. Can I get a new rod? Because I've got a basic one, haven't I? I've not got enough for any of them. 7,800, bloody hell. <laughs> and these as clubs. Yeah, just different shirts. We don't want any of those, so that's fine. I do see something I wanted to look at, though. There's the statue that I found. And the, toy, uh, the chocolates and stuff. Can't we? Yeah. This is our rod. 
Uh, got a, is this what we look at? No? Do we look at that? I thought we looked at that to get our next... Oh no, you're going for car, don't you? I'm just going to look in the car because I want to see what this tournament mode is. Does it tell me in here? Oh, there we go, tournament. So, duke it out against another ace angler and vie for the prize. So, is this an online mode? Tony DeForce. Okay. Right, well, as a bonus to this video, I'm going to do one round of the tournament if it's only short. I don't want the video to go on too long. Okay, for some reason. Oh, there we go. Right, you see, that bit in the middle wasn't there before, I don't think. So maybe it is online? I don't know. Oh. Maybe it's just predefined people like um, Noctus. There he is. Well, look who it is. Hello. Let me guess. You're here for the tournament too, right? Hell yeah. You know, first I thought you were just a casual caster. No, no, and no. I can tell you take your angling seriously. You. Fortunately for you, so do I. I know we're fishing buddies and all, but got my eyes on the prize. These. You ain't getting any of these, Noctus, you pervert. Uh, the angler whose total hauls weighs the most wins the tournament. Oh damn, I can't mess around then, can I? Nope. Nope. <laughs> No, I need to get in that little ring here. There we go. Mm. They're not really biting, but they're not biting for him either. Ooh, that caught the attention of one fish. It's not coming any closer. Oh yeah. What? Noctis has got one. How's he got one? How about trying a different lure? That's what I'm thinking, Noctis. I don't think they like this lore. Um, quick change. All I've got though. Oh, I've got that. What's that? A stinker. Okay. Weren't that the really expensive one? Oh, sh wrong button. Oh. <laughs> There's a big fish over there that I want. No. Right, well, he's only got one so far. That's one more than me. This lure's quite heavy. Oh, he's got two now. Right, sod it, just go here. Right, I've got it in that area. Is anything gonna bite? I just need to have a bit more patience. Yeah, that's tiny. Get in there. Get in there. Oh, 
Oh shh, that's a bit far, isn't it? There's nothing over there. Right, let's just wait here for someone to buy it. I want that big one that's over there, but I doubt that one's gonna walk over to it. See, now it is moving a little bit. Got one and a half minutes. See, that's closer. Oh, we got one of the tiny ones. I don't want this tiny one. <laughs> Look at how small that is. I got a star for it though. Unless you just get a star for everything that you catch. Oh, we got less than a minute. Oh, come on, big one. I'm right in the perfect area for it as well. Oh, we got a big one. And there's a floating one there. Um, What's that doing there's a, a fish floating in the air um can i catch that one no it's in between his legs <laughs> what the hell's going on <laughs> i don't know what's going on with that fish um some really big ones over there, but I, oh, five seconds. Yeah, definitely not going to get them. 19 pounds. I think that's nowhere near enough to beat him. Yeah, you got 11. Oh, I got eight. What? Oh, that's my score. Oh, okay. So I came fourth. That was a bit crap, wasn't it? The king of fishing still got it. Better luck next time. Fuck you. Wanker. <laughs> he beat me. That's not fair. Oh well. Nothing was biting. And I know that I need better lore before I go back to the tournaments again. So I learnt something. And you got a bonus part to this video. So we both won. And now we get to see our winnings again, but I don't really want to look at them. But let's see if we get some points. Alright, so you get points for every new kind of fish that you catch, I think. So let's go home. And then we'll call it a day unless something new happens. Which I don't think it will. Hello, hello, hello. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, bats and guppies of all ages, it's time for another Fish Fanatics Hour. Okay. So I mean, this week's episode, I'd like to kick things off with an announcement that's sure to set your fins aflutter. Fisherman extraordinaire and friend of the show, David Arland, is asking all aspiring anglers to cast their lines in his first ever open invitational. To those Ooh. of you who've spent hours perfecting your wrist flick in solitude, now's your chance to hook the judges and sink the opponents with your incredible skill. And let's be honest, who among us can resist the allure of a chance to go fishing? We'll post more details about the tournament on our website, so check it out. Now, let's move on to our next segment. Oh. Why did it put my picture on here? That's my zombie picture, that one. Huh. So I've got that picture over there, and I've got that one over there. I wonder if you can put pictures anywhere, then. Because I'm not, I'm not going to do it, but... Oh, hello. Is there anything in there? No. Ahem. Oh, is there any post? How are you feeling? I hope you don't have another fall like that anytime soon. I'm a mechanic, not a medic, so I wouldn't be of much help to you anyway. If there's something I can help you with, don't hesitate to give me a holler. Okay. But yeah, uh, oh. As I was saying, um, if you look at that. Oh, there's another picture. That's a funny one, that one. If you didn't see this one. Oh. Yeah, you can basically take the camera off and turn it upside down, and it makes your head go upside down, so. It's quite good. But yeah, if you click on that, you can see all your pictures that you did, but it blocks the screen, so I'm not going to do that. But yeah, um, so I'll call it there. I'll probably do some more videos as I go fishing again um, in a couple of days. 
But yeah, leave a comment below if you've got any questions or if you've got any suggestions. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video or you want me to do some more because um, they're all appreciated. And um, share it and subscribe if you really want to. Um, I do play quite a bit of games uh, pre-release because um, I do them for reviews. Um, and I play a lot of games that have just literally came out as well. So, yep. Cool. I'll see you in my next video then, I guess. Bye-bye. Uh,